It's official now. The Nigerian movie industry is a big money spinner. And a proof of this is the wedding party closing its cinema rounds with a record-breaking 405 million box office figure. Catch the details in our opening report. About three months after the premiere of the romantic comedy The Wedding Party in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, the red carpet rolls out once again for the cast and crew and fans of the Kemi Adetiba directed movie. Glasses are clinging as lenses click to capture every frame of the moment. It is a celebration of a new dawn in the Nigerian movie industry popularly dubbed Nollywood as the wedding party shatters the Nigerian box office with a record 405 million naira. The executive producer Mo Abudus trots the red carpet with pride. I feel on top of the world. I mean, it's um, one of those moments that you look forward to. It's one of those moments oh. that you plan for. But it's not a moment that you have any control over because I think what we have done, um, everybody wants to do it. You want to break those records. You want to be the have the highest grossing box office ever. Um, and to God be the glory, we've achieved that with the wedding party. And we're all very happy, all very pleased. I think the formula is put God first. Secondly, I'll say work hard. Thirdly, I'll say have a good plan. And fourthly, I'll say execute the plan that you have. And executing the plan means obviously making sure you have a great story. It means making sure you have a fantastic, you know, cast, um, crew, um, the picture quality, the video quality. Have a relatable story that people can relate to at every level in society. Because when you look at the wedding party, everyone can relate to that film from my driver to my secretary, to my sister, to my mom, to bank executives, to MDs of ma massive corporations. There was something in the wedding party for everybody. So I think it was very relatable. Um, I'm taking nothing away from the teams that marketed the films. You know, make a great film, but it's also important to put a budget behind making sure that people know this film is out there. But it records a big leap for the industry, which had gone a long way from when major revenue was from selling DVDs in traffic. The founder of the African Movie Academy Awards, Peace Anya Mosigwe, calls this a victory for African cinemas. I think it's beyond even um, a wedding party or an industry thing. It's um, it's an it's a it's a record breaking for us in the sense that it's for Africa actually, in a way because this is one of the first films to have gone against Hollywood films at the same time and broken over the um, box office during the Christmas period as well, where there were really big films going on. So for me, there's so many things that this is a celebration of. This is a celebration of us really accepting our own filmmaking industry again, against the backdrop. The whole thing that Nollywood was about, this is another one to show the next milestone for us, that we've gone past that stage of always looking at our competition. And that now when you're making a film, you're really gonna be thinking about competing amongst yourselves and not so much against the outside anymore. Other casts from the movie, including Kunle Du and Enyin Naumiwe, recounts the journey to the celebration. Well, this player is getting married today. A lot of hard work went into it. It's not very easy to coordinate a lot of talent. You have egos to manage, and as God will have it, there were no egos. Even with the collective of the production outfits, everyone was in sync. The talent were in sync. You have a director that's the first time, her first time, do doing a, f a feature film. She has never worked in the terrain, never worked with the kind of talent she has worked in, the capacity she has worked. And yet, 
we were going on every day and having fun through the hard work, almost not not in the hard work. Sometimes we'll film into 3 a.m., 4 a.m., because every detail had to be right, you know, and um, because we just had great people on set. Everyone's energy was so beautiful. There was nothing like ego at all, and it was always a fun time. Even when we're tired, we're happy we're together, you know, so it was, it was, it, it, the energy on set was as colorful as what you see reflective in the film. So all of that energy came through, and people, people don't know exactly what it is, but I think it was the right vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell me that didn't just happen. Uh, it's not that bad. Harrison, let's go. Abi, I should call my tailor. Oh, Madam. First time I laid eyes on the finished work of the wedding party, I liked the colors. Just that, the, 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 the vibrant colors that hit your eyes from the screen. I think it was very exciting, very refreshing to watch. I mean, the skin tones were as good as you would want them to be in real life. And the, 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 the costume was excellent. And the, just the sparkle of it, I think, was very radiant. And the, 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 and the sound uh, design, the score, the soundtrack, everything, just, everything worked together. Everything worked together. The Wedding Party leads a group of other comedy movies at the helm of the Nigerian box office, creating an impression that the other movie genres suffer a bit of snob from the Nigerian movie public. Filmmaker and director Nii Akimolayo, who is already trying his hands out on the very complex animation, believes other genres will eventually come up. It's already happening because when you look at um, the films that went to Toronto International Film Festival, it was different genres, you know, largely comedy and drama. But, you know, you also need to understand that you need to gradually grow the audience. It's easier to pull in everyone with comedy and then gradually introduce all the other genres to them. So it's going to happen, but it's going to take some time. The Wedding Party chronicles the shenanigans that went down during the planning of a wedding in Lagos. The chain of event questions the strength of the love between the impending couples, brought back the spark in old flames as it defines the value of love in another. All these under intriguing and hilarious circumstances. I have never needed anyone in my life the way that I need you. Are you gonna be my love?